Equestrian Gamers, Kali here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be placing my horses, my main horses, back in my paddock while we have a little bit of a chat. So a lot of you guys um, are part of my Roblox group, so Cooley Reviews Updates. And a lot of you um, from there have a very, very, very clear grasp of the sort of rules I put into place for myself. And not everyone's on, in the Roblox group, so I thought I might make a video um, just explaining some rules that I do uphold. Um, a little bit of an expl explanation why I have these rules. And yeah. So I do tend to, because I have been playing a lot more, I've actually been really, really enjoying the game again, which is lovely because I definitely had a bit of a time period where I was just like, you know what, I'm over Roblox, I'm over games, I'm over everything. But I have come back into it again. So I am playing a lot more again. I used to always, always play on public servers. And I am playing on a lot of public servers now as well. So naturally when it comes to public um, servers, I do get asked pretty much the same questions again and again and again. Now I have no problem answering questions. Like I've literally spent hours standing like over here with a group of people just answering questions. <laughs> And I was quite happy just to stand there, but I thought this would make it a lot easier um, on all of us if I just explain a few things in a video. And yes, there are two Valentine Frisians in this paddock. Do you want to see the name of this one? Stay still. You, oh, did you catch it? Were you fast enough to catch its name? Ah, that's the only hint you're getting. You may have to rewind and pause. All right, but any who's. So yes, making a video um, just to get the awareness out there. So starting off um, with probably, yeah, definitely the top two biggest questions asked is, can we be friends on Roblox? I hate saying no, but I do say no. So I'm not accepting friend requests. I haven't accepted any friend requests for a fair while, except for Vanilla Vanilla. I accept, I sent them. I actually sent a friend request, which I haven't done for even longer. But yeah, so I'm not accepting friend requests. The reason being that if I accepted every friend request sent to me, I would already be at max. I would have been at max months ago. So I would have been completely filled up, had no room to be able to add people like Vanilla Vanilla because we're working on stuff together and stuff like that. So I do need the space to be able to grow my friend list. But to make up for it, I have always, always had my followers can join turned on in Roblox. So if I'm playing on a public server in Wild Horse Islands and you follow me, my Roblox profile, you can just join me in game and then come say hello. So it's not a complete, um, you know, hardship like you'll never ever see me in game or anything like that because I do have joins on. Now the second biggest thing that I get is, which I think is very, very sweet, it's extremely sweet. But I do have a lot of people offering to give me gifts. So they have a horse or some accessories or something like that that they would like to give me. And I always refuse. So I do not accept gifts. This is also um, a good thing to mention because any fake accounts that are like, hey, can I have a horse? Or if you're like, hey, can I give you a gift? And the fake account is like, yeah, 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 I'll take a gift. It's not me. It is absolutely hands down 110% not me. <laughs> I do not accept gifts. Um, I find it, I don't know, I'm very uncomfortable taking gifts. Like, I just, yeah, I really, 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 really don't like 
to take any gifts it does make me feel super uncomfortable like just because I make videos doesn't mean that I should get free stuff like I don't know <laughs> that's how I view it anyway but yeah it does make me uncomfortable so I do not accept anything for free I hardly ever trade like hardly ever ever mostly because I do have everything in game so I don't really have anything that I want to trade for at this point because I work extremely hard to have a full collection of everything. But yes, but that's another big thing is that if you ever see someone named Cooley begging for stuff or asking for free stuff, you know they're fake straight away. Now, in regards to, I will mention again, I know I mentioned it in another video addressing um, fake accounts, but also I think it still needs to be mentioned because I still hear about it. I do have alt accounts. I do. I have several alt accounts. But here's the thing. I do not play on them. They are strictly for storage only. I am never on like Wild Horse Islands playing on an alt account. I never speak using my alt account. I never ever ever trade. Nothing. They are purely designed to come into game, run up to me, I give like I put horses onto the alt accounts and then they disappear. That is their full and complete <laughs> purpose. So definitely watch out um, for that. But yes, absolutely no alt account interactions at all. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. All right, who we, who else we? So I actually had these horses out for a previous video, which you guys probably have already seen, actually. So I think I'm going to, yes, upload that other video before this one. So you actually saw the video that had Isabella and Enzo and Wisteria and Blushing Bride. She's actually a horse I've had for a long time now, but only just gave her a name that I like. It did take me a while, yes. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing is I'm putting my main horses back into the yard after doing that video. But yes, anyway, the rules for my horses have changed. Um, so I have mentioned several times that I will have Isabella, Wisteria and Devil May Care always on me. I have changed that now, so I've decided to put all of my main horses in the paddock in my or on my island. It makes it so much easier for you guys to be able to say, hey, can I see Isabella and Devil May Care? And I'll be like, yeah, they're on my island. Go have a look. They're running around in the yard. And you can see them all at once, so... I think it's great. I really, really like it actually. I do miss having them um, in my inventory where I can just grab them and ride them. But if I need them for videos, I just pop back here um, and pick them up. But yes, so that has definitely changed. So this, if you do want to see my main horses, Isabella, Devil May Care, Wisteria, all those good ones, they are now in my yard while I'm not recording. When it comes to recording, I record in private servers. I'm so sorry, but I do not usually rec uh, like record in public servers. So I get a lot of people ask me, hey, can I be in a video like you're playing? You can just hit record and we can do a quick video and you can upload it and it'll only take you a couple of minutes. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, but no. <laughs> so when I'm um playing i'm just playing guys um it's my downtime it's my time to relax or to organize for future videos thank you enzo so yes the biggest thing is i do not organize um for people to be in my videos unless it's like a collab so any viewers that do end up in my video is by pure chance they just just so it happened to be in the right time at the right place and I just had the urge to suddenly record something on a public server but it is very rare it does not happen very often at all it can get a little cray cray on public servers 
So I do go um, into a private server to record so then I can have the time to plan it out and think and just take it, you know, as slowly as I need to without worrying about that I'm, you know, ignoring people that are trying to talk to me and stuff like that. So yes, so when it comes to being in my videos, um, in the very slight, slight, slight chance that I'm recording in a public server, it's just luck of the draw. Alrighty. And the last one, which I'm just going to throw in here, um, is my horses are not for trade. So I've spent months and months and months, like literally since February, building up my collection of horses and items. So I actually did a huge, huge clean out. Finally, like three, four days ago, I went through every single alt account and I got rid of so many horses there was at least oh my gosh i don't know it feels like there could have been like 300 horses that i cleared out it was a lot like a lot a lot so i finally had a huge clean out like even on my main account here i've i've only got frisians and they're actually all for a future video which i do need to get done and then i have these wild horses that i need to sell but it's crazy so it's awesome actually i've actually got like all the room in my storage like my locker and everything i'm like oh my gosh what am i going to do with all this space <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> but i did give out um give away some horses randomly i do that now and again um i'm i'm very sneaky when i do it though so like there was a who, a player like who wanted a reindeer and they just asked you know oh does anyone happen to have a reindeer they weren't asking me in particular so i just ran up to them i'm like hi take this <laughs> and like threw a reindeer at them and just random stuff like that like people who aren't begging um in chat like people who are just like oh you know if someone has you know this for trade and whatever else if i have the spare horse in that i just run up to them and sometimes i don't even say anything I'd be extremely, extremely quiet. I just like run up to them and I'm like, please trade with me, please accept it so I can just give you the horse and run away again. <laughs> but I love doing that, honestly. I really, really do love doing that. It's like a, a little, a secret horse giveaway. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. But yes, but um, no, so if you do visit um, my island or see me riding around on a horse in game, that horse is not for trade. So none of my collection horses are for trade. The only things I've ever given away is double up. So if I have had multiple of the same horse, but I do not give my originals um, away. But yeah, I think that'll just make it a lot easier. It does say that actually on my island. I'm not sure. Oh wait, can I have a look? Nope. 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 Okay, well, it's 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 on my island, but everyone, you know, not everyone sees my island to be able to um, read the sign. But yeah, it's all good. So the last thing is just that is that unless I state otherwise, my horses are not for trade. And I did, I did. Oh, hang on. But that's all the rules, guys. I'm a little distracted because look, I finally, finally named a couple of the really important horses. So this guy here is Isabella's first foal, which was with Galaxy's Angel. And I finally called him Shep. So Shep is actually the name of one of my mum's best working dogs years ago um its name was shep so i thought you know what let's honor that dog because it was an amazing amazing dog so i called yes isabella's first foal shep and this is isabella's grand foal called arabella which i thought was fitting you know isabella arabella i thought it worked out well those two are actually i've got three two three I think it might be ooh you got me thinking now i've got two horses that i know of that are arab uh, arabella isabella's foal and one of her grand foals i actually gave a friend another one of her um grand foals 
But yeah, I don't have many, so I'm definitely going to have to have a really hard think about who I'm going to breed Isabella with before the Frisian remodeling update, because after that next update, you won't be able to breed the old Frisian. So I'm definitely going to have to give that a lot of thought. But at this point, I'm just yabbering on. So, okay. <laughs> so I will finish up. But yeah, there's just some rules, um, general rules. There's always exceptions to the rule. I want to, I want, okay, I need to say that again. There's always exceptions to the rule. So sometimes I may have to break a rule slightly or once. Oh, yes, okay, thank you for putting your butt in the camera. Oh my goodness, you need a name too. Okay, you know what? I'm recording a video where you guys have to name my horses. Keep an eye out for that. It's coming. <laughs> we, we, we need to do that. All right. That's right. I was supposed to stop blabbering. All right, guys. So I shall leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm trying to remember to do my outro. We need to bring the outro back. All righty. I hope you all have a lovely day or a lovely night, depending on where in the world you are from. And I'll catch you all next time.